What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Golden Reaper, Insane Final Boss Edition Season 2, where we attempt to get every single boss pet in the game. I have a little bit of AFKing to do, so we're going to start off this video with the Chaos Elemental, and then we're going to work our way towards ED1 and try to tackle Seryu the Azure Serpent. And I'm pretty excited for this one. It is really, really good money, uh, which there is never a shortage of needing, so I'm excited to get into this video. Okay, I actually forgot my coil, which is not a great start to the video, but uh, there's 200 kills now on the Chaos Elemental, and I'm actually watching a YouTube guide right now for the most efficient way to AFK, so uh, hopefully we can get that all set up and everything will be just fine. Alright, been at it for a while. Uh, it's going pretty well AFK-wise, just gotta keep the inventory full so it doesn't unequip. Uh, the only thing I really have to worry about is occasionally I get teleported too far west and the uh, Abyssal Savages will kind of gang up on me as I'm walking back, but uh, it hasn't really been too much of a concern so far, and that is 300 kills. Ooh, there's our first log item, some corrupt dragon legs. Um, absolutely not going for the log here, the drop rates are just abysmal. Um, going here for the pet, and then I'll go to the revenant caves to uh, try to finish out the log at a later point, but uh, yeah, interesting. I actually wasn't really expecting to get any uh, log progress here. And there is 400 kills. Hey, there is, there it is. That went a lot faster than I was expecting. There is the pet 400 and uh, some change there on the KC. Uh, hell yeah. Aw, oh, look at him, he's so cute. All right, that is a boss pet done. That's always fun. Always just a, a great dopamine drop, but now it's time to move into ED1. As many of you have probably realized by now, a lot of my footage dates back to now up to a few years ago. And this is due to the fact that I really haven't played much over the last year, but also when I am playing, I try to save up footage from each boss log and pets. Rather than just camp one specific boss non-stop until I have the full log, I like to hop around from boss to boss pretty often. At any point in time, there's usually three to four bosses that I'm actively cycling through uh, to go through logs, boss, uh, pet drops, and progress, and I find it helps out a lot with burnout and just not getting same sick of the same thing doing it over and over again, uh, which, you know, can happen if you're just going super dry on one boss, and it can be really, really dehumanizing to, uh, to go that dry on it, so that's why a lot of the footage that you see is now uh, pretty old. You're also probably wondering why I play on the full revolution bar as I do. And the simple answer is that I juggle way too many accounts uh, to make it, you know, not worthwhile. And while you're only seeing footage from my main monitor, I have a total of four monitors that are filled with other accounts doing various AFK things. And uh, they require some input every now and then. And while I'm actively PVMing on my main, I'm still manually inputting every single action. But in the event that I have to attend to an alt or, you know, do something on one of the other accounts, I have Revolution active to keep my abilities going while I do whatever needs to be done on the other account. And sometime in late 2022, I made the change to full manual, uh, and it was a pretty seamless transition as I already input everything manually. I say that because I started getting really into speed kills, and uh, despite the fact being on full Revolution, I actually managed to get my first one cycle here at Seryu, and I was really, really happy about it. Not only that, I had the most scales I've ever had in one drop of 112. Uh, so a one, first one cycle and the most scales, it was absolutely uh, just the ultimate dopamine rush for this, uh, this kill. There we go, that is another one cycle and a 201 personal record. I'm getting really close to sub 2 minute. I realize I haven't really shown much footage of the actual kill, uh, but for the one cycle, I'm just going for the uh, the tribe grid setup, uh, range bolts only for the Hydrix, but criminal bolts, but I'm taking down pillars one and two using magic, just a simple sunshine FSOA rotation, and then during the healing portion, uh, stacking up boost there, and then switching to melee, and uh, getting my uh, meteor strike or tsunami, whatever is available, and then yeah, just going through a simple zerk rotation, you know, G barge into an assault, drop some mines if I have the time, roar into overpower, and then just spam whatever I have left uh, to adrenaline dump, and it seems to be working out. I uh, still haven't broken two minutes yet, though. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
Ooh, 30 scales. That is a wonderful drop to see. Oh, that's another kill that just wasn't quite good enough to be sub 2 minute. Getting really a lot of 2 minute to 210 kills. Uh, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just not changing up everything, but I am at 9 million dungeoneering tokens. That is, that is a lot. Gonna miss sub 2 on this kill as well. Unfortunate. Still should be an easy one cycle at least, so I'm not too mad about that. There we go, easy game. All right, yo, yo, we got it. Oh, that's the pet. Let's go. Let's go. We are done with ED1. Oh, I love it. Oh, let's get this boy out of the chest and claim it. Uh, by the way, the ancient scales in here aren't going to be accurate. I ended up doing some speed runs for ED3, uh, and I needed to clear the chest. Um, I'll have to do the final calculation after we get this bad boy out. And uh, yeah, when we inspect this, that should be the log. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I'm trying to see what the last scale was at. Anyways. Oh, and there it is. The ED1 log is complete. And we are completely done with ED1. Oh, that's so exciting. That is so exciting. Let's get the uh, pet out. And there he is in all of his glory. Look at that. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, I get such a such a rush of excitement to be done with a log and just one step closer to being done with Golden Reaper and Insane Final Boss. Oh, that's awesome. And there we go. That is a video. One easy pet out of the way and one pet that uh, took a lot of effort and learning along the way as far as getting one cycles somewhat consistently. I wouldn't necessarily say consistent, but... Uh, Anyways, we got it done. 439 kills for Ellie and 174 solo kills there for Azure the Serpent. And oh man, it is good to be done. And I know I didn't have the chest up to date, but uh, for anyone wondering, I did 68 hard mode kills along the way and I got 884 scales, which comes out to exactly 13 per kill on average. Pretty good money. Uh, I know if you rush this, you can get uh, up to 6 kills per hour. Uh, I was definitely not doing that. Um, but uh, for, yeah, I just figured I'd throw that out there. They're selling about 1.2 million each. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty solid money. And we are that much closer to being done with Insane Final Boss.